Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before. This is a channel dedicated to Pokemon cards and primarily looking at art of Pokemon cards. Today's video is a bit of a random one. It's looking at the chaos of my binders that I'm that are in current binders. I have dozens and dozens of binders like this and I there are ones that are archived in effect because they're of older cards. They're still being added to occasionally but there are four on my desk at the moment that are my current projects binders and they're still even even though I put, try and put order into them they are still chaotic and there's a good example of it so this was just a blank page and I decided to start clustering some Golurks in there which will slowly increase because I probably will do a Golurk collection but that is on very much a back burner project um, then we have uh, Mien Shaos, which I did a video on recently, and Mien Fu's, which I did a vid video on. Uh, Nagomi Nijo in Japanese. I mean, really, species collections and artist collections shouldn't really be in the same binders. So I need to buy even more binders, split things up, move them around. Um, so that goes through to here. Then we have um, Satoma. These are the five cards of Satoma. So that's an artist collection. Um, then we have my Otomami collection, which is primarily a Japanese-only collection. Though there are some other, there are some English cards in there. Um, then we move into Chinchinos, and I'm waiting for the. English one of that to arrive, which I've ordered. Um, that's still Chinchinos. Uh, Minchinos. I'm missing. I'm missing this one still, sadly, and the Japanese print of that. Um, so there's the Minchinos, and I have got this one on order in English. Then randomly a page of. Tokias, some of my Tokia collection. I have Tokias elsewhere, but for some reason, suddenly there's I've put some Tokias together there that need to be taken out and put into a proper Tokia collection at some point. Um, a collection I've been doing for quite a long time. I occasionally buy new cards for it. Cubones, very hard to complete because there's some really expensive, difficult ones to find. Um, but... Uh, that is my Cubone collection as it is at the moment. And then there's some Marowaks, uh, which I... There are more tucked in behind each one. I haven't given each one space, but... Anyway, there's a Marowak collection there. There's a simple page. That's um, uh, my Yoshida Totodile page that I'm just going to use as a backdrop for something, so it doesn't need to really be in there. Then I've got my heat mores which i'm nearly complete on i'm just waiting for a couple of prints to arrive um and then i'll do a video on that but i'm still gonna be missing the mirror foil of that one by um kawaii because i can't find a copy that i can afford um then a random page of some mirror foil japanese from the start decks the sword and shield start decks then Oh, this I did this video last week, um, my Japanese lantern video. The missing Yukomori Hollow that I bought from Japan that came to Britain and then was sent back to Japan, the seller refunded me. Um, no, no idea why the post office would, wouldn't deliver it to me. Got all the way to this country and then ended up going back to Japan. So I'm going to have to resource that one if I'm going to complete my my lanterns so that is that is that file so that was the that's the big one um what's in here okay this is i think this should be well we'll see i think it's just artists but we'll see so i've got some kanako eos collected in here um which i occasionally add to from time to time i prefer to get japanese prints but i mean it's never going to be a complete collection because some of eos cards are just impossible um but I just, you know, whenever I see a, an AO card in either Japanese or English, I try to add it to that. And then we've got uh, Ryota Fusei. Um, some of their cards, I've got other cards elsewhere. 
um, but I'm sort of assembling a collection of Fusé cards there. Uh, Korea, I think that's complete at the moment. Yeah, because I just put these ones in. So yeah, that's the Korea and that's complete. Um, then we've got Matazo here. I think that's right. Yeah, primarily just Japanese Matazo, but I will, I'll, I'll get the English ones as well. I mean, I've got the English one of this on order. I think I'm missing the reverse of that one in English. But anyway, never mind. Um... Then some Kadamas, but just some of my Kadamas. I have Kadamas elsewhere. Um, then there are the Aokis, primarily just Japanese. Um, then we've got a Spara, which I think is complete. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Then we've got Rend, which I probably will just collect Japanese Rend. I think, yeah. Um, and then we've got Oku. That, again, that's probably going to be a Japanese-only artist collection. There's the uh, Chiyu coming when I finally get it from um, whatever the new one is, Crimson Haze. I think that's. I think that would then be complete. Um, right. That's drifted across, because these are all Shinanahara cards. Um, obviously, the Zoroark is in a hard case somewhere else on display. Um, that's going to be a primarily Japanese-only collection. Um, whereas this Rika collection, I'm always going to be missing the Mela, which I can't afford or justify. Um, yeah, and... The Lapras... Ah, there aren't English prints yet of that one. So I'm not going to go for English as well. I'm just probably going to focus primarily on Japanese prints for Rika. Uh, then we've got uh, Gemi here. Again, primarily Japanese only necessary. And then there's this Nightmare, which is Moriyama, which is a project I've started and then I'm probably going to give up because there are so many ridiculously expensive Moriyama cards but I'll do a video on Moriyama at some point um, just to maybe I'll do a top 10 Moriyama but uh, they've done some very expensive cards and then I'm currently working on a Blitzel collection actually I've just bought lots lots and lots of them online so I, hopefully this will fill out in the next week or so I think I've bought just about everything there's a couple of very early alternate prints in Japanese I haven't got from those beginning set for girls and things that uh, I've got a couple of them but there's I think there were four prints of the original of um, four different prints of Koiki Saitu's one in Japanese and I've only found two of them so far so that's that binder um, this is current sets binders so this is Wild Force, and then, uh, yeah, Wild Force, Cyber Judge, um, yeah, these are all, all there, and then, then Temporal Forces, um, I've got a few more coming in the post, um, like obviously that, and that's missing at the moment, and for some reason I'd forgotten to, got this, but they're coming as well. Um, yeah, so I'm only getting, I'm not getting a complete set of Temporal Forces, I'm just getting the artworks that I like, or I want to talk about on a video probably at some point. And, um, yeah, so that's, those are all Temporal Forces. Great card. Um, and then at the back of this file, oh, I've got some, these, these things that were in, um, the decks, whatever those Japanese decks were that came out recently, the, um, the Battle Academy decks. Uh, so they, I'm waiting for those to be in English in the next set, I guess. Um, for that. And then what's in here? Hmm. Ah, this is current um, Arita and Sekio file. So, yeah, I've got my current Aritas through here um, 
So that's the latest ones. I'm waiting for uh, the English one of this to arrive. Um, otherwise, I think that's the waiting to fill those with future projects from Arita. Um, then I've got my Sekio collection here, which is Japanese only Sekio. Um, missing, obviously, the master balls of these three. I think I've talked about that before. There's a few English Sekios there. So that's that file. Let's look at one more. Oh, okay. Well, look at this one. This is a, this is a, this is my lovely art file, basically, and it is the most random of all my folders, binders. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Right. So we start with um, some akitsus. I think most of my akitsus are in here, if they're not on display in in cases and stuff. Um, so I start with a kitsu in here, goes through to here, and then it becomes completely random. And what happens is that I put cards I like in, that I like the artwork of, into this file, and then they tend to sort of migrate together and cluster. So these septiles have found each other, these zero auras have found each other. Um, but they'll either cluster by species or by artist. Um, so they, this is a truly... It's a random file, but it's of cards that I have picked out that I particularly like um, for various reasons. Uh, I must do a ferret collection at some point, which is probably a very easy project. Um, yeah, you got so the monkeys have all come together here, uh, and then there's the Hataya artworks here. Um, these are nearly all Okacheki, that's not Okacheki and there are, I've got Okacheki ex elsewhere as well and then we've got some doggies love my doggies then we've got some Fukudas from uh, Legends series um, just, you know, random card like this little Mahu um, horsey, which I just love yeah, it's just, look at that, isn't that cute? And it has nowhere else to go in my collection, so it just ends up in here. I would love that in Japanese. That's Himeno's uh, Reshiram. Very expensive card, though. And you've got some Elector Vires here. And Elector Buzz. Um, yeah, this is a sort of beautiful page of some of my favourite of favourite cards. This uh, Kawaii. Um, look at that. Beautiful card, that weird foiling on it. Um, possibly my favourite card ever of anything. For some reason, this is this. I mean, this it's certainly in my top ten. But you know, you can't really say. I mean, all these three particularly are favourites of mine. Um, that's a lovely card as well. So then we've got some. Uh, Purloins have clustered here, and we've got some Fukudas have clustered here, and we've got some little bears, and some Diglets for some reason that I've picked up. Total odd, odd cards. Some Ipoms have got together on this one, and then some more puppies, uh, which, uh, and then some fire puppies as well at the end. So there's some randomness of binders. Um, as I say, I've got another. 20 or 30, yeah, maybe more, other binders full of either old uh, vintage sets or artists or species or God knows what. And it all becomes a bit crazy, but I found I'm going to start doing this more, which is um, putting something, sticking something onto the cover of them so that I can actually differentiate them because without them, I have no idea what anything is. It all becomes too much. I uh, hope somebody enjoyed that. It's just a totally chaotic video.